is it, Vincent? It is. Don't sit on the... He just wants to play Minecraft. If we make an air bubble down there, I should be able to work. The fish is temporarily confused. We swim. I'm gonna die. All right. Amazing. It was doing that amazing animation where you're trying to swim, but it won't let you. So that was. Fun. Well. boat, I guess. Or like you took damage so you can't shift sprint. Oh, that's great. I absolutely adore underwater combat. There's the output. Okay. Oh, good. There's more than one. I can enact my vengeance. Question, is all my stuff still down there, or did it all float to the surface? Okay, good. Mystery surprise time.
your jump scares have no effect on me, fish. Underwater combat is well, well designed. Why is there another fish? Go away, Ree. That'll be nice. There's my stuff. Whew, okay. Some of my stuff, at least. There's more down there, though. by chance pick up a uh, pickaxe or anything down there? Because I'm at where I died and, well, there's not a whole lot. Slim pickings. I have an axe and a sword in my TNT, but everything else is missing. Oh, and my bread. The bastard stole my bread. That's a big fish. I don't understand where those other items went. I do have dirt on me, though, if you want to work on the tunnel. Uh, I found my empty buckets, but none of my milk. <laughs> I'm in a cheap kind of swim around down there. I'm going to figure out where the rest of my stuff went, because that's... As one would say, that's whack, yo. Uh, I may also just return at this point, because I have no food. Oh yeah, and I have buckets. It's annoying to lose the pickaxe, but I don't think it's here anymore. Really bizarro because I don't know why it would disappear. I'm also about to die. That's quitter talk. Ah, I don't really have pants. And it's raining and it's <laughs> cold and I'm hungry. What 
What does pants have to do with that? Uh, armor. Lack thereof. There's two llamas tied to the water outside my house. <laughs> what? Huh. Oh, there he is. He just... I think the trader guy is drowning. Good. That's unfortunate for him. Should we... Is there any way we can help him? Uh, he, like, despawns the moment he's underwater, so... So, two free llamas, then, is what I'm hearing. Oops, he turned into a drowner. Ah, okay. Why can't they trade things like that to us? Yeah, if you get a high enough level, they might. It is very possible. We had discounted prices going for a while because we were able to uh, get a raid going and we were able to beat it, but unfortunately the timer on that only lasts like 20 minutes. And then they forget that you saved your lives. They're like, oh yeah, you saved us from that raid. Full what have you done for us lately? Uh, maybe? So, how do you plant sugar cane? Uh, it needs to have... It's either like a sand... Yeah, no. That, basically. Mm, have that. Still not letting me plant it. Are you planting ah, it on dirt or now. sand? Because I think it can do both. That's just going to be enough. Essentially, bringing things I won't be will I won't miss if I die this time. Or if the world somehow eats my armor again. Conveniently, I have a large stockpile of shit. Still have my one block of TNT.
That's a sight to behold. Uh, Ace, just so you're aware, there is a fully gold-armored clad zombie just chilling on top of your house. And he just despawned. I don't know. Where'd he go? Okay, never mind. I don't think this game has a sanity bar, but I think mine just hit zero. Where did he go? <laughs> okay. Alright. Is there a thunderstorm up top? Yes. Oh, okay. It'd be storm. Okay. I don't know if I'm emotionally ready, but physically I'm ready for this. Uh, how much milk do you have? Okay. I should probably do the same. That's a heck of a thunderstorm that they've got up there. Uh, sky angry. Okay, take three. Oh look, the rain stopped falling. I can see clearly now. Oh my god, okay. I want you to know that Gobo's sitting in front of the iPad watching you guys as you roll along. <gasps> Thanks, Gobo. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, yeah, she's just chilling. I'm gonna get down there. I'm gonna find all my items again. I'm gonna find my soggy bread and milk. It's gonna be great. Okay, that one got me that time.
It also doesn't help that the fish have like a low key pissed off expression on their face every time. Hallelujah. Okay. Oh, big old fish -o. Ooh. I can see him and he can see me. That's a problem. Pretty Lovecraft short story looking ass. It really is. The curse of the ability to not mine. You did? Okay, cool. Anything else he dropped, or is it just a, like a sponge? Oh, fantastic. Okay. What can we do with the sponge? You can empty water. Oh. I will buy that sponge off of you. Cook the sponge. Cook sponge. Yeah, there's a lot of water. That's fine. Because it would make the uh, underwater tunnel system quite a bit easier to work on. So, when you guys get back and you're not using it anymore, I would like to. Okay. Sorry, I have to cut you off, Tyler. What were you saying? That's fine. Uh, when you guys get back and you don't need the sponge out there anymore, then I just want it for working on the underwater tunnels. Yeah, that might be a good idea to seal it off. I mean, I'm all for it. I'm just not in possession of sponge. That's fine. I 
take a second air bubble. Okay, good. I'll keep the uh, fish at bay. fish or the temple? Ah. Yeah, I think honestly what might make this easier is if we can get potions going so we can do water breathing. Yeah. That may be a good idea. Forward, forward operating base. The FFOB. The FOPAB. Yeah, at least one of them's dead. There's just so many of them. Oh, good, they don't respond. It's dirt time. You thought you could jump scare me, fish. You're wrong. Hard rails required because fish have range. Okay. Oh, the bastards ate my torches. That's what else I lost. <sighs> Do you guys need me to come deliver anything to you? Um. question because I think we need a furnace okay uh, I stopped by and grabbed all my old stuff I think so like a stack of coal and a furnace or two okay do you need me to bring any cobblestone or anything so you can make pickaxes and or such? Uh, honestly, probably dirt. Okay. I have like lots of that. Stacks of dirt. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, good to know. I did not know that. I went through two and a half stacks, like, securing this area. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the dirt. Do you guys want me to bring any dirt, or are you good? Um, I could probably grab some from the FOB. Okay, so I have four furnaces and a stack of 64 coal. Does that sound okay to you guys? Uh, yeah, that sounds like plenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, just let me go set this stuff up on my little mining thing, and I can go make a delivery. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said you had stacks of dirt. That's a lot of dirt. Of dirt? Yeah, I grabbed a few stacks. Got like seven or something. Large amount. Oh, good, manta rays. Dirt. <sighs> now the fit. Now the j fish jump scare is just getting annoying. You guys need any bread delivery for you? Uh, I have plenty of food on me. Okay. I am on my way. Still. How you want to build it though? Ah, sponge. I can hear the fish being angry, but oh well. It is, even though it's made out of ice and dirt, but... Hey, at least the fish can't shoot laser beams at my head. <laughs> it really does.
So, how's everyone else's uh, construction going? I've mostly just spent the entire session mining because I wanted to. I spent all of my iron on uh, the, the railroad rails, so I wanted to rebuild my stock. Ah. My sugarcane fields are finished. I'm hey. now working on the second story of my farm. I'll have to come check those out eventually. I can see him running in the distance. Our hero. What? I come bearing dirt and stuff. <laughs> you dumb fish. That jump scare. I didn't get the little um, effect thingy. All right, where do you want me to drop the furnaces? Um, here. Position as you will. <laughs> Alright, now we have hella dirt. Thank you, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, jump scare time. <laughs> so, is this the entrance down here? Yeah. Uh, be I wanna go. It's very bizarre to explore. As soon okay. as you drop, there's some dirt off to the right, and that's an air bubble. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. Yeah, the the block is kind of a death trap. Ooh, good sponge time. I wanna see it work. Yo. Okay. Wow. Absorption. That was nice. Oh, no. Now it's all flowy though. It's okay. We'll just cook it up and uh, redo it now. The fish head, you can't have it back. There we go. I sacrificed milk for it. Uh, what do you do? Just throw it in the furnace? Okay. Interesting mechanic. Sponge! Okay. Well, the little jerks are just sitting down there waiting for us at I'll the let entrance. You position it. Sponge time. Real limiter is going to be how much milk do we have to get the damn sponge back. It makes a nice little elevator to get up and th up and through with the flowing water, though. It does. What the heck is happening on the other side of this wall? Uh, fish. Okay. Angry fish. So they're just <laughs> mad and... So they're just mad and they're just throwing um, laser beams at the other side of that wall? Yeah. They're venting their frustration, I guess. Okay. I 
I don't think on this level, but probably on, on the next level. level. Well, that was semi-successful. was an almost adorable squeak that came from that fish. Hell to the no. Ah, good. Okay. Man, this sponge. This sponge, man. Red. I never thought I'd be so happy to see a so freaking sponge. So does the sponge, sponge just clear one block or like multiple blocks? Many. Many uh, blocks. Like if, I don't know if you have a stream. Nice. So. Yeah, blocks out like a 3x3 three three sphere, maybe? That's cool. It is oh so useful. Does a diamond sword cause more damage than a uh, iron sword? I believe so. Okay. Does the spoon thing also affect attack damage? Uh, no. Okay. Attacked by ghost fish yet again. It's gonna be so nice. This has to be some really soggy bread by now. Oh, yeah, no, it's just straight up awful. Are some very hardy fish. They also have hit scan laser beams, as I'm finding out. Ooh, combat cake. Uh, I still have some, Tommy. Nope. 
devoted my time to uh, reducing the fish. Just trying to get back upstairs. Jeez, leave me alone. That's a significant problem. Okay. There's like nine of them down there. What if we just threw some TNT down there at them? I do have a block. <laughs> so we could, if we could aggro all them into the room and then just drop some TNT on them, that might be effective. Very possibly. Oh dear lord. Well, we can get some dry land. Do those guys ever temple. stop spawning or do they just keep respawning? I'm sure. So we have to go kill the boss before they'll stop having 20 of those guys down just camping us? Take that water. And now we'll never be able to remove the dirt because of the spoon. We have been spoon cursed. That is solid progress. I'm gonna level with you, I'm not sure how much more of the temple thing I can do. Oh, I have the sponge. Cook sponge -os. Yeah, I'd say so. That's a, That was a lot of exploring. back to this next time. Uh, Tommy, do you want the sponge? Sponge. Bucket. Okay. 
I only went through half my stack of chicken. I am curious to see if my stuff is still down there, though. I'm no longer curious. It's a lot of fish. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's just gone forever. I think the thing I'm saltiest about is the amount of XP I lost. That was a lot of XP. That is indeed so progress. Time to get me off this whack ass island. Ah, it's always reassuring that I can see the sun rising from beneath the ocean. I love it when yeah. that happens. That's how the sun works, everyone. Admittedly, I'm using it as a reference marker as I'm heading back home, so it's kind of nice to be able to see that through the ocean in the world. Seems legit. Toidles. I don't know how to get Boat Bird out of the boat, but at least he's no longer just a, sitting in the middle of the ocean drowning bird. He's no longer trying to become Penguin. Yes. Oh no, my bones. Yeah, no, it's very convenient that they just don't do a whole lot of damage. They probably would have quite literally cooked my goose. I haven't had goose. I don't think I have oh. either. In fact, the only thing that I know of cooked goose is that it was the uh, thing that Scrooge wanted 
the little kid to go pick up after the Christmas Carol. I think I've had cooked boots. It was pretty much the same as duck, from what I remember. Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, that's what I was missing. I forgot. They ate my torches. Okay. Uh, I will take them, although I did get all of my dispensers that I needed made, made. Right this exact moment, I'm running away from a gas. so... Ah, good old hell. Good, thank you. Yeah, sounds good, because I'm going to need... 32 more, I think. 
either 32 or 36. want diorite? Because I know I still have some tucked away in here. And I know I will never use it. Anybody have some extra gold that they're not using? Uh, yeah. How much do you How much do you want? Um, I don't know. It's hard to specify a number. You want a stack? I got stacks. Sure. <laughs> I got stacks, a, and ironically, they're taking up room. Is it a fat stack? It's a fat. It's the fattest stack. <sighs> Look at all that butter. Uh, where are you? I am in my house. Okay. Currently making fat stacks of bread. Oh, you don't have a train stop yet. Neither does Ace. Hm. Oh god. It just looks like butter. It really does. Especially because I've been getting the uh, carry gold stuff at Costco, and it has that same sort of like extra yellowy colored sheen or whatever. Yeah. Butter tone. <laughs> yeah. Probably somewhere if you go and look at, like, for example, a hardware store, you know, they have very, very fun names for paint. There's probably a butter tone out there. I'm sure there is. It'd be such a waste if there wasn't. Ah, uh, yes. How do you want to do your room? Butter. Butter. I'm sorry, what? I need 12 cans of butter. By Tuesday. And the paint store guys are like, what? Why? <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where might I avail myself of, of your stacks of butter, sir? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Making it rain, are we? All it right. really just does look like butter. <laughs> so much. I don't want it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. <laughs> the fact you can hear him scream every time. Oh. I'm so glad that we ran into whatever weird little edge case that was that allowed us to to capture Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, dude, uh, Jerry, Jeremiah, whatever the hell your name is, you gotta stop staring at me, dude. It's getting weird. Seriously, stop. Okay, now you're just screaming. All right. And I'm also yelling at an Enderman that he's a person. Again, I think my sanity is uh, zero. I like the fact that we have a boat enderman, a boat cat, and a boat bird. Pretty solid. You have quite the uh, organization 
uh, not organization. I don't. Quite I the had... aquatic organization. Yes, there it is. That would be memes. Oh god, what a... <laughs> Define wing, wiki. Now you know, under the impression they eventually generate... Oh good, he was just the door guard. Fantastic. We gotta kill a lot more fish. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm gonna ask. Um, does anyone remember the recipe for blaze, uh, blaze rods? Uh, the alchemy potion stand thingy? Because now I do have blaze rods, so I can build one, I just don't have any, uh, like, physical netherrack mushrooms. I have the blocks, but unfortunately can't break them down. I could make a mushroom couch, that's what I could do. It'll be disgusting. A mushroom couch? I'm trying to think of what I can do with the netherrack blocks. Because I think they're like purely decorative. Oh, there's my sea pickles. Oh, disgusting. Oh, well, that's shockingly easy. Where did this flower come from? I don't want this. Into the pit with you. Uh, 
Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I remember they need specifically a single puffer fish. That's one of the main ingredients. I don't know what else. Oh, that's awfully convenient. Okay, so we have the puffer fish. We just need, uh... I just need to look at the wiki. Let's see. Sorry, my bad. It's technically called brewing. Let's see. Brewing. Water bottles. Okay. Healing, regen, swiftness, leaping, snow falling, water breathing. Okay. Legit, all you need is, well, the base ingredient is an awkward potion, which is brewed with a water bottle, and nether wart. And then you combine that awkward potion, laptop just tried to kill itself, uh, awkward potion with uh, a single puffer fish. Awkward potion? Yeah. That's technically okay. what that's called, is like, if you brew the nether wart with a water bottle, it becomes awkward. Really? Yeah, I don't know how it works, but it works. And it's called awkward? Yep. Okay. That is slightly off-center, and that's gonna bug me. Yeah, we'd. I thoroughly searched that um, fortress last time, and there's just no nether wart. So we either need to find a new fortress, or uh, maybe one of the merchants has one. Sir, can I help you? Get out of my garden! Technically, if you wanted to make some of the other potions, uh, you would need magma cream or glowstone. What can you make with that? Uh, with magma cream, you can make a potion of fire resistance. That would honestly probably be very, very convenient. Slash the best outcome. Well, 
back to the good old mine. That's right, that's that mine shaft. I'm gonna go this other way. That's just a lot of lava, never mind. That's very nice, actually. What are the priests buy? Is it rotten flesh? Huh. That's terrifying. <laughs> you want to browse my shop? It consists of gold bars, totally not butter, uh, rabbit's feet, and uh, some rotten flesh I found in the jungle. You want to buy it? I can't imagine that shop smells nice. Slightly used. When was the last time this used? Huh? Mm, that's hard to tell. in the sun for like about uh, three, four days now. Ooh, that is also convenient. That'll save on... Uh, it's glass blocks that make bottles, right? It's not panes.
that's not what I thought it was. Oh, that's annoying. That is good enough for the future. If I ever need bottles, gold, or uh, whatever else else they uh, sell, I'll go to them. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. find my way out of here. It's more that the hardlin is the same hardlin and it's standing on my sword. So it's very very hard to get my enchanted sword back. No, no, I was wearing gold. The hardlin is the like boar thing. And they attack you as far as I can tell regardless. Ah. Although if you would like to slay it for me, that would be greatly appreciated. mostly angry because I was literally on my way back. Uh, where is this walking sack of soon-to-be pork chops? Um, in hell, if you care to follow me. Uh, sure. It's always a little jarring looking at the render distance and realizing you can see the zombie before you realize they're standing in the tree. That's always nice. Hello. Thank you guys for helping with this. Yeah, I'm on my way over to the portal to help too. Okay. This pig's gonna have a bad day. This way. Yes, I am just now realizing this. I'm making friends with the wildlife. Ow. Oh, the are made. I'm bringing him to you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Please don't hurt G-Spawn. That enchanted sword was really hard to get a hold of. Uh, it looks like it's on top of the hill here. Of course it is. Oh, my sword. <laughs> More than anything, it's mostly the sword that matters. <laughs> Skedaddle. Okay. Man, the piglins are upsetty. Do you want golden boots, James? Uh, I should be fine. I have enough chicken to counteract it. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. I got four levels back of my 24. That's fair. Yeah, no. I still think that the, the like, return rate when you die is kind of broken. I think you should be able to get a little more than that back. Yeah. And here I was hoping to improve my mending again. Oh, well. Ooh, blue mushroom. Stole your gold nugget. What are you gonna do? That's a problem. Yeah, I could see that being a definite. Expense. Picked up an escort, okay. Tommy. Have a good night. Oh, I hear the gas. No, no, no. Oh, God damn it. Well, at least there was no XP to lose. Are you sure you don't want golden boots? Uh, I will take you up on that, yes. <laughs> moment I can get back to hell. I am standing in front of the gate to throw them at you. Oh good. Interdimensional boots. This should be fun. <laughs> Please don't bonk me on the head. Hello. Have boots. Okay. Thank you for the boots. Your avatar is so creepy. About it. It's like I was never here. <laughs> oh! Did you immediately die? No, they stole my shit. Oh. Do you need help avenging? Yeah, they stole all my armor. Okay. Unfortunately, that's a party foul, and you have to die. They even stole my shield, you... Oh, my God. At least they didn't steal my damn chicken. That's a terrifying situation. It is. The warthogs want to kill me. They want to kill me, too, and... Uh, Why can't your children do so much damage? Ow! I will be back with a bow. Yeah, that might be wise. 
There's a lot of them. I just... <sighs> Why'd you steal my pants, bro? I'm gonna heal and one of you's gonna die. Off the guy with the helmet. That's great. Mm, I see. Do you still need help? I have a clown fiesta chasing me. Uh, okay. I think so, yes. I'm going to need help. Because essentially trying to figure out your situation on stream is a little hard to do. Yeah, it's a lot of running. <sighs> okay. If I can find the guy who stole my armor, I'd be happy. The problem is he has a lot of friends. And I have no range. And the warthogs need to piss off. Ah. I don't have any arrows. Oh good, they're That's fighting cool. pigs. This problem may solve itself. Got my chest piece back. Alright. Well, my game crashed trying to get back in there to help you, so I'm good. I think I'll go ahead and call it a night. Okay. Have a good night. Actually, no, I want to go figure out where I. where my game is after it crashed. I was able I to get everything to found back. found a drowner. Okay. <laughs> Give me your port keys. Well, good news, I got everything back. Uh, bad news, they broke it. That's pretty, pretty badly. Helmet seen better days. But I got everything, so that's nice. And I'm out of food, so uh, operation, I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are worth a good amount of XP. Sorry that I could not be of more help. I will endeavor to be... I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Uh, try to set up one of the enchanted bows and a trunk full of arrows just right next to the gate. Now you're good. I mean, I was able to eventually... F if you can, like... I found out if you can cut... If you are, um... If you have the, like, weaponized pigmen chasing you, if you can chase them into, um... Warthogs, they'll attack each other. Ah, that's useful. And in that moment of confusion, you can snipe one or two of them and get some gear back. Okay. That is useful. It'll just be in worse condition, unfortunately, but... Better than completely losing it. Well, that was an adventure. Holy crap. And I found gold nuggets. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, that's right. You don't have to smelt them. You have to build them. Yeah, it seems my biggest crux right now is leveling. Because I had a good yeah. amount of levels when I went to go deal with the fish thing. And then I died, and then I got nothing back because it despawned. Admittedly, I've been trying to save my levels because I have been putting enchantments on my sword. That is understandable. 
Thankfully, I was able to recover my good sword. But I lost the pickaxe. I do need to, like, set up a uh, enchanted pickaxe, though. Um, I've found the most useful enchantments are unbreaking and efficiency. Yeah. That and mending. Mending would also be good, but, uh, I don't have mending. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get a hold of mending. Because I think books. the sword has it, but that's because I bought it from, uh, one of the, uh, villagers. Okay. Yeah. Or, no, the sword doesn't have it. The sword has... Sweeping Edge. My bad. Ooh, Sweeping Edge is fun. Yeah, no, like... My sword's kind of scary if I can actually get to my sword. Yeah, I had a bow with power, too, but that, unfortunately, was lost in the, uh... Ocean Expedition. That's unfortunate. I lost a lot of enchantment here. I'm slightly upsetty. But oh well. Nothing a little bit of power mining can't fix. Fair enough. Poppy, are you having trouble? Uh, no, I was... So, the game disconnected while I was in the gate, and then I was concerned that I would be stuck in the gate forever. Um, ah. But no, it ended up that I, when I was, went back in, I spawned back in the nether, so I was able to go back out and just had to do a little bit of inventory management to close out the night. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night there, though, so good night, guys. Thanks for those fun. Of course, night, have a good night. Pair of shield is I am going to place all of the spoils of hell, and then I too will be off for the night. Okay. It has been a decent five hours. Yeah, I oh. think for me it's been like three, but... Um, do you still want diorite? Yes. Cool, I have a lot of it. Cool. If you want to see why my answer of... I need lots of diorite, you're welcome to. It's sure. a bit of an adventure. I'm curious. And this time this I won't blow up your furnace with a creeper. Okay, actually no promises there, I don't know if there's a creeper. Ooh, oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Come with me. And you'll see a not very magical room. <laughs> It'll be magical okay. eventually. That's a lot of sugarcane, okay. So, uh, this is this is one level. Trick floor there, watch it. And this is the beginnings of level two. Do you see why I need diorite? Yeah, ah. Uh, that makes sense to me. <laughs> There's also a, uh, ooh, secret tunnel. Yeah, I don't know if that actually goes all the way up or not. It does. Oh, cool. Looks like a little bit of, uh, secret jungle action. Is that glow shroom? Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Does well, it's a combination of glow shroom and, uh, glow stone. It looks like glowstone, but it's a different c texture. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> glowstone, but not glass. Hmm. I seem to have gotten myself into a prediction here. I would offer steak, but I don't think that'll help. <laughs> nah.
it does like it is interesting to me that the like glowstone and the glow shroom are so much brighter from above than they are from below. They are, which is a little odd. Yeah, that's a lot brighter. I mean, I'll make it work, but for aesthetic purposes, it's slightly annoying. I can imagine, yeah. The deafening uh -oh. noise of a pickaxe breaking. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that was my pickaxe. Uh, that's not good. One, I think I just threw my pickaxe somewhere. Did you just pick up an iron pickaxe? Uh, I did not pick one up, but I have a spare one on me. Because I don't know where mine just went. Ah! Oh, that's the one that you had? Yes. Oh, thank you. Because, looks like I picked up a repeater somewhere. And that's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, okay. I can imagine that. I don't really know how redstone works, but um, I think all the pieces need to be there. Yeah. Redstone is honestly kind of a pain. Yeah, I don't remember a whole lot about it, and uh, <laughs> that's why I uh, don't use it. Granted, I can probably relearn all of it, but eh. Cutting down my shoulder cane. <laughs> don't worry, it, it needed to... Uh, it exploded, oh no. <laughs> I forgot all of that was been messed up. But yeah, it looks nice down here. Thank you. Took way more effort than I want to admit to. I mean, it took me a grand total of, uh, what was it? Four? Six streams total to finish my fortress? Fair enough. At least the outer wall. That took a long time. And I would show you the wonderfulness that is me setting off all of this via, like, one or two buttons. However, I also don't want to replant it, so... Understandable. <laughs> Replanting takes so much time. It really does. I can reliably get five stacks to five and a half stacks of wheat, though, so that's a thing. That is impressive. And eventually, I will expand this one so that it matches the sugarcane size. You are the breadbasket. The sugarcane one is like three or four blocks wider. Yeah, it's got like an extra row. Yeah. Alright, I may have to invest in a auto farm eventually. Eventually. Yeah, and then there'll be another layer added on top of this one. And then I'll get into my actual, like, main house. Okay. I have to figure out what I want to do for this central light, central area, though. Because I don't want to keep the torches forever. Maybe like a glowstone chandelier? I don't know. Yeah, I could do something like that. Or just a straight up call back to the other one and it's just netherrack chandeliers. <laughs> I straight up don't know if I have enough room to pull that off. Yeah, they'd be pretty low hanging chandeliers. Yeah. Yeah, I might go with the glowstone ones though. Also, I think, like, the roots, if I can get the... 
if I can get the, uh, whatever it is, roots from the same trees that produce the shrooms, the weeping vines, I think those glow as well. That I have not noticed. But I'd believe it, because, uh, hell scary. Basically. Oh yeah, I think a low glow. Those things? Yeah. I they kind of glow. A little bit. Yeah. It's a very low light. Yeah. I mean I could do that. Have to sit here and figure out what the how they all line up. These are on the other side. I found the hmm sign. You found the what? <laughs> oh. <yes. laughs> I'm just now noticing these. It's kind of fun. Meh and eh. Okay. Understandable. There. It's <laughs> <laughs> an interesting aesthetic. <laughs> well, it is supposed to be, you know, a elf tree thing going on, so. That it's definitely getting there. Just don't worry about it. <coughs> don't need anything. I'll try to remember that. Uh, oh, diorite, have you never right? heard, like, those Fey legends? Uh, no, I have. I've heard those. Some, okay. not all. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to log off then. Uh, did you want the diorite first? Oh, sure. Because I have that. I'm just going to throw it on the ground. Yay. It literally Thank takes you. up space. It can now be turned into uh, whatever this is. Slabs. Or whatever it is. Smooth stone, I don't know. There's a witch somewhere. Yeah, I heard it earlier. I swear, this... My area... Has to be right up against a cave somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. Yeah. I kind of had that issue starting off as well. Eventually I'll find it, and then I can get rid of all of these annoying little sounds. I actually kind of don't mind the witch noises. They're kind of kind of hilarious. Well, it's not usually a witch is the problem. It's usually spiders. Okay, now that could get annoying. They just sit there and slurp all day, and you're like, guys, why? Why are you like this? 